The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Feeling low. Feeling tense. He takes words are common sense. Smoke a lucky. The Peter Level Best. Smoke a lucky. The Peter Level Best. Your level best. That's just how you'll feel when you light up a Lucky. Because Lucky's fine tobacco picks you up when you're low, calms you down when you're tense, puts you on the right level to feel and do your level best. It's important to know that fine tobacco can do this for you. And LSMFT, LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And this fine Lucky Strike tobacco puts you on the right level, the lucky level, where things seem right and are right, because you feel right. Yes, smoke a lucky to feel your level best. The Lucky Strike program, starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jack Benny Show holds its rehearsals on Saturday. So, we'll take you back to yesterday in Studio B at CBS. Well, kids, if everybody's here, let's start rehearsing. Well, Jack, Mary isn't here yet, and neither's our guest star, Van Johnson. Both late? <laughs> Gee. Gee, that's funny. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis, what are you laughing at? You said it was funny. <laughs> Dennis, when I said it was funny, I meant it was hard to believe. That's right, kid. When Jackson says something's funny, it's hard to believe. <laughs> Phil, stop being on my side. Maybe Van Johnson got mixed up about the time. I hope he gets here. Stop worrying, Dad. What do you need Van Johnson for when you got me? Me, the guy who's got so much charm, Paramount wants me to play opposite myself in a picture. <laughs> Yes, Phil, I know the picture. Kiss the scotch off my hands. <laughs> Look, uh, Luke is comparing himself to Van Johnson. You know, Jack, I don't want to brag, but I've had plenty of people compare me to him. Don, the van they were comparing you with... <laughs> Need I go further? <laughs> the van has furniture sticking out of it. <laughs> but I can't understand... Oh, Rochester. Yes, boss? There's a phone out in the hall. Call Van Johnson's house and see if he's left for the studio. Yes, sir. Have you got a nickel? Oh, yes, yes. Here, I'll get it out of my coin purse. <laughs> Here you are, Rochester. Here's a nickel. Mm, look at that buffalo gulp the fresh air. <laughs> Never mind. Now, here's Van Johnson's number. Go out in the hall and call him. Yes, sir. Boss, the boss must be losing up. Having a great star like Van Johnson and using a pay phone the same week. <laughs> I wonder... Uh-oh, I dropped the nickel. Now, where'd it go? Doggone it, I can't see it anywhere. Well, the boss will get mad, but here goes. Oh, Mr. Benny. Here it is, Rochester. It rolled back to me. <laughs> now, uh, now go call Van Johnson. Yes, sir. Sure, I dialed the number Mr. Benny gave me. Hello? Hello, Joe's Fish Market. Is there a Van Johnson there? In just a second, I'll find out. Hey, Clara, have we got a Van Johnson here? Not unless he came in with that load this morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, mister, we ain't got no Van Johnson. Could you use a hell of it? Not unless he can read lines. What? Goodbye. 
Say, boss, the number you gave me isn't right. It isn't? Well, okay, but I can't understand what's keeping Van. As for Mary, she's never been late before. <laughs> Am I driving too fast for you, Van? No, no, Mary, you're doing fine. <laughs> Gee, Mary, it was nice of you to pick me up, and it's really a beautiful drive from Beverly Hills to the studio. Well, I knew you'd enjoy the ride, so I took a little roundabout way. I'm glad you did. I've never seen San Diego before. <laughs> Well, it won't be long now. We're back in Los Angeles. Say, Mary, I thought you were in a hurry to get to the studio. Why do you keep driving around the same block? Well, that building there is the May Company. I want the girls to see me. <laughs> you better stop, Mary. The light just turned red. Okay. You know, when you came by my oh, house... Pardon me, mister, but I can't get a cab. Would you give me a lift as far as... No. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, Sterling Holloway! <laughs> what a stall. If she'd have gotten in here, I'd have punched her right in the nose. <laughs> uh, say, Van, how do you happen to be a guest on Jack's program? Well, he made such an attractive offer, I couldn't turn it down. Jack made you an attractive offer? Mm -hmm. What was it? He said if I gave a good performance, he'd show me how to make nickels roll back to me. <laughs> <laughs> but no kidding, Van. How much is he paying you to be his guest? Well, as a matter of fact, I forgot to discuss money when I had lunch with him yesterday. Lunch? Did you pick up the check? No, he did. You've been paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, I better drive faster. We'll be late for rehearsal. <laughs> Gosh, I can't understand what's keeping Mary and Van. Oh, Jack, I've just been looking through this Radio Mirror magazine, and there's something in here very nice about you. About me? Gee, that's swell, Don. What does it say? It says, uh, genial Don Wilson, who is loved by millions of people, was again selected as radio's number one announcer. <laughs> Don, why'd you say that was about me? If I hadn't, you wouldn't have listened to it. <laughs> what do you... What do you mean I wouldn't have listened to it? If I'm that kind of a guy, would I be going all the way to San Francisco to appear on the newspaper men's frolics on next Saturday, March 26th, in the Civic Auditorium at 8 o'clock? <laughs> if they don't pay my railroad fare after that, let them get Maury Amsterdam. <laughs> Say, Phil, while we're waiting, why don't you run through your band number, and then we can... Hello, Jack, we're here. Well, hello, Mary. Hiya, Van. Hello, Jack. Yeah, I'm glad you finally got here. We just started to rehearse. Now, Van, I'd like you to meet our little group of thespians. Uh, this is Don Wilson. Pleased to meet you, Don. I'm certainly glad to meet you, Van. Say, Jack, are those his chins, or is he chewing on a Venetian blind? <laughs> uh, those, uh, those are his chins. And Van, uh, this is my orchestra leader, Phil Harris. Hello, Phil. Hiya, bub. What do you hear from the Hannah Rents Company? <laughs> Phil, so you're Van Johnson, huh? Uh-huh. Tell me something, Johns. What makes all them dames so crazy about you? Oh, I don't know. I guess it's just sort of a psychological phenomena. I'm dead. <laughs> Phil, Phil, please. And Van, Van, this is my vocalist, Dennis Day. I'm glad to know you, Dennis. Should I swoon, Mr. Benny? No, no. No, Dennis, that's for girls. Just say hello. Hello. And now, Van, I want to tell you oh, about... Oh, say, Mr. Johnson. Yes, Dennis. My mother thinks you're wonderful in pictures. Well, thank you. Every time you smile, she breaks out in big red blotches. <laughs> Dennis. When she saw you in command decision, she came home and burned her wedding dress. That's enough, Dennis. And now, Van, I My want... My father got so mad, he threw her teeth in the Bendix. <laughs> Dennis. Before we could stop the machine, she ate up her nightgown. Boy, sit down. <laughs> now, Van, 
before we start rehearsing, would you mind stepping into my dressing room a minute? I want to discuss our financial arrangements. Okay, Jack. Phil, while Van and I are gone, run through your number. Come on, Van. <laughs> Well, Van, here we are in my dressing room. Shall I sit down? No, no, no. This will only take a second. Now, Van, when you make a guest appearance, how much do you usually get? Five thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, sit down, Van. <laughs> uh, Van, I think five hundred dollars is a is a little too much. I said five thousand. That we're not going to discuss at all. <laughs> But to show you I'm willing to compromise, what would you say to $350? I'm sorry, Jack, but my price is $5,000. $5,000? Who do you think you are, Sterling Holloway? <laughs> Van, let me ask you something. Why in the world do you want $5,000? Well, Jack, I gotta think of the future. The future? Yeah, when I'm 60 years old, I don't wanna have to tell people I'm 39 so I can keep a job. <laughs> Look, let's not drag Al Jolson into this. <laughs> now, Van, for the last time, what is your rock bottom price? $5,000. Well, we'll just have to call it off, I guess. But I can understand your position, Van. After all, you are a big star, and all the girls are crazy about you. And... You know, that's a mistaken idea, Jack. Everybody thinks that the girls are just nuts about me, and it isn't true at all. It isn't? No. Confidentially, Jack, most of the glamour girls in Hollywood won't even spit at me. That's funny, they do at me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they, they seem to think I'm hot stuff. <laughs> well, anyway, Jack, what? it's just as I told you, my being a lady killer is a, a fallacy. Girls don't go for me at all. Well, on second thought, I can understand that, Van. You see, freckles are all right for a Huckleberry Finn, but, but you see, you've got too many. Too many freckles? Yes. Now, take my complexion. It's perfectly clear. And look at your eyes. I don't know. They, they have no expression. They haven't? No. Now, if you'll notice, my eyes sparkle. Yes, they do. A and look at your hair. My hair? Yes. Now, take mine. Thanks. Put that back! Not so far over to one side. <laughs> but that, that isn't all, Van. Girls go for me because I'm the outdoor type. You? The outdoor type? Yeah, I go hunting and fishing. And as a matter of fact, I just came back from a fishing trip on Lake Mead. I had a wonderful time. I don't know. There's nothing like the rugged life. You know? Oh, did you camp out in the open? No, no. I stayed in Las Vegas at the Flamingo Hotel. <laughs> at the Flamingo, eh? Say, that's really a classy place. You're not kidding. Yeah, I was only there a week, you know, and ten bucks went like that. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't gamble much, you know, but I, um... <laughs> but I enjoyed it, you know? Well, I can't understand it, Jack. I spent three days at the Flamingo, and it cost me over a hundred dollars. Well, you don't play a violin. <laughs> See, it's amazing. It's amazing what you can pick up around the pool when people are having drinks, you know? <laughs> But, Van, getting back to your trouble with girls, maybe you've got the wrong approach. Maybe your technique isn't right. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I've got a date tonight with a girlfriend. I'm going to take her to Ciro's. I'll call her up right now and tell her to bring a girlfriend for you. And then just watch the way I operate. Well, Jack, I don't know. Are the girls pretty? Van, leave it to me. I know how to pick them. And you'll have a great time. I'll tell the girls to meet us in front of Ciro's at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Gaitches. What is it, Mabel? Are you sure he's bringing Van Johnson for me? Yeah, and you can have him. As far as I'm concerned, I'd just as soon go out with men like Jack Benny. Why? Well, when a man like Benny tries to kiss you and you tell him to stop and he stops, you don't feel so disappointed. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Imagine them keeping us waiting here in front of Cyrus. 
I, w I wish they'd get here already. I can't wait to see Van Johnson. Johnson, Schmanson, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, now, Goyt, but you shouldn't talk that way about... Hey, Mabel. Mabel, here they come now. Right out of that parking lot. Van, you shouldn't have paid for the parking. Well, I thought someone should. We've been sitting in the lot since four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Jack, do you think these girls will keep the date with us? Certainly. I told them to meet us right out in front of... Hey, hey, there they are now. Where? Right there. See those two? Ah! Van, come back here! <laughs> Van. Van, what's the matter with you? I wouldn't go into Ciro's with them. Why not? One of them is old enough to be my mother. Which one? The one that looks like my father. <laughs> Oh, Van, that, look, at, look at Van, that, that's my girl. You've got the cute short one. Oh, you mean the short one with the red dress? She hasn't got a bad shape. That's the fire plug. <laughs> <laughs> now, the girls are over there sitting on the curb. Now, uh... <laughs> now, come on. Okay, okay. Ah, hello, Gertrude, Mabel. Hello, Blue Eyes. <laughs> Everybody calls me that, man. I'd like to have you girls meet Van Johnson. Hello, girl. Gee, you're cute. Gertrude, he's mine. You've got Diamond Jim. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, come on, we'll go inside. Now, Van, as soon as we get in... Jack, let's call this thing off. I don't want to go into Ciro's with those two dames. But, Van, these girls are all right. In case anybody picks a fight with us, the tall one can whip her weight in wild <laughs> Come on, Van. Van, why are you taking my arm? I want to walk in with you. <laughs> well, here we are. Oh, girls, you want to check your coat? Nah, we'll shove them under the chairs. <laughs> good, good. Then we won't have to wait in line when we leave. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, Captain, we'd like a table for four. Have you a reservation? Reservation? What do you think we are, Indians? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Van, <laughs> you know, Van, they're, they're so funny. You know, they're regular Abbott and Costello. You know, they look like them too. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Say, Bud. Yeah. I'm talking to the captain. <laughs> uh, captain, uh, we don't have a reservation, but give us any table for four, will you? Yes, sir. Follow me. Here you are. Ah, thank you, Captain. May we have menus, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, let me see. Hey, Gertrude, get a load of these prices. Yeah, and these fancy dishes. What's fishy swazi? <laughs> Gertrude, that's a cold soup. Oh, good. Then I won't have to blow on it. <laughs> Gertrude, please. Uh, Van, would you like a drink? The quicker, the better. What? But don't let me drink too much. I don't want to see four of them. Okay. Captain, uh, bring us four martinis, and then we'll order the food. Yes, sir. Say, they have a nice orchestra here. Oh, Gertrude, would you like to dance? Uh, yeah. Wait till I put my shoes back on. <laughs> All right. Hey, Van, how about you and me? No, thanks. I'm not a very good dancer. Ah, don't worry. I'll lead you. Come on, don't be a schmo. Well, all right. Say, Gertrude, you're really a swell dancer. I love to dance with you. Gertrude, I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. Oh. I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. No, thanks. It'll only roll back to you. <laughs> no, no, that only works with nickels. You're terrific, Van, and you said you couldn't dance. Gee, this is a beautiful song. Hey, Van, how about singing it to me, huh? No, no, Mabel, I can't sing. Oh, you do, too. I heard you in pictures. Come on, sing to me. Oh, all right. You sigh, the song begins. You speak, and I hear violins. It's magic. 
the stars desert the skies and rush to nestle in your eyes it's magic without a golden one or mystic charm fantastic things begin when i am in your Why do I tell myself These things that happen are all really true When in my heart I know the magic is my love I enjoyed that dance, Gertrude. Now let's sit down. Our drinks are on the table. Uh, shall we? Uh, shall we order food now? Yeah, I want to see what that fishy swazi looks like. Van, what are you going to have? I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh, say, Blue Eyes, have you got a cigarette? Yes. I, oh darn it! I'm out of them. Have you got any, Van? Uh, no, but I'll call the cigarette girl over. Oh, Miss, Miss. Hey, Van. They know it's you. All four cigarette girls are coming over. Hello, girls. Hello. Say, girls, do you know who this fella is? <laughs> they know. <laughs> oh, girls, I'd like to get some cigarettes for our lady friends, Ann Sheridan and Lana Turner. <laughs> Van, what made you say that? Two martinis. <laughs> yeah, they were strong, weren't they? What are you guys mumbling about? Nothing, nothing. Uh, girls, give us some cigarettes, please. Yes, yes, cigarettes. Here's something we suggest to make you feel your level best. It's magic. Just light a lucky strike, for that's the one that you will like. It's magic. When you are feeling low or feeling tense. A lucky strikes the smoke for ladies and for gents. That's common sense. You said it. The cigarette that we prefer is LSMFT. It's lucky. <laughs> How else can we explain? We've said it time and time again. It's lucky. Oh, yes, it's lucky. Why do we always say that they Kids, let's order some food. Van, what are you going to have? Nothing, Jack. I don't feel like eating. Good, good. Um, <laughs> uh, what are you going to have, Gertrude? I want some fishy swazi and a salami sandwich. <laughs> okay, what about you, Mabel? Well, as long as I'm in Cyro's, I'd like to try something different. Let me see now. I think I'll have this tebony. What? It's right here on the menu, see? Tebony. That's T-bone. <laughs> oh, Captain. Are you ready to order now? Yes, I'll have a Caesar salad. We want some vichyssoise, a salami sandwich, and a T-bone steak. We have no T-bone. Yes, you have. It's right here on the menu. See? That's Tebony. <laughs> tebony? Yes, that's a rabbit baked with an oyster in its mouth. <laughs> Oh, oh. Well, I, I guess you were right, Mabel. Would you like that? Sure, anything as long as it's dead. <laughs> Say, Van. Van, would you like another drink? Yeah, but I'd like something stronger this time. 
Well, how, how about a zombie? No, thanks. The two we brought with us are enough. <laughs> well, then have another martini. Okay, waiter, you've got our orders. And if you want a tip, you better shake a leg. Gertrude, behave yourself. Say, Van. Yeah? You sure are a card. You told me you couldn't dance and you dance like Arthur Murray. Look, Mabel. You told me you couldn't sing and you sing like Frank Sinatra. Mabel, please. You and me gotta see more of each other. You're just my type. All you have to do is say the word and believe me. I beg your pardon, Mr. Johnson, but there's a telephone call for you. Would you like to go out and answer it? Oh, would I? Uh, get your phone call, Van. It might be important. Yes, excuse me, please. Say, so he's, uh, he's a nice fella, isn't he, Gertrude? Yeah. Say, Blue Eyes, we're having so much fun. How about ordering some champagne? Champagne? Well... Sure, come on, Speedy. We only live once. Hey, waiter! Waiter, a bottle of champagne! Gertrude, not so loud. It's embarrassing. Well, get him. Since when are you in the blue book or who's what? <laughs> now, Gertrude, please, be quiet. Oh, put down. Yeah, don't be such a big shot. We're not riffraff, you know. <laughs> Girls, I'm just asking... Pardon me, Mr. Benny. Yes, Captain? There's a phone call for you. Oh, oh, excuse me, girls. I'll be right back. Jack, Jack. Wait a minute, Van. There's a phone call for me. No, no, there isn't. I sent the captain in to get you. What? Now, here's our chance to beat it. Say, you're right, Van. You're right. Let's get out of here. But how do you know those dames won't follow us? Look, I've got their shoes. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 1949 Easter Seal campaign is on. Crippled children can become useful citizens if we give them the help they need while they are young and growing, such as clinical care, schooling, camping, vocational guidance, and finally, a job. We can help them best by buying our share of Easter Seals today. Thank you. Jack, we'll be back in just a moment, but first... Smoke a lucky to be your level best. Smoke a lucky to be your level Yes, Lucky's Fine Tobacco picks you up when you're low, calms you down when you're tense. That's what fine tobacco can do for you. And that's why it's so important that you select and smoke the cigarette of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. For, as you know, L-S-M-F-T, L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. No wonder Lucky's are the overwhelming choice of the tobacco experts, men who can see the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine, that light, that naturally mild tobacco. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And this fine Lucky Strike tobacco puts you on the right level, the lucky level, where you feel your best and do your best. Remember that when you choose your cigarette. Then ask for a carton of Lucky Strike. Feeling low. Feeling tense. These eight words are common sense. Smoke a Lucky. To feel your level best. Smoke a lucky to be your level best. Say, Mabel, what is it, Geishas? Do you think they're coming back? I don't know. What time is it? It's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> well, that ain't so late. I know, but this is Tuesday. <laughs> Well, if they won't come back by Friday, we'll go. Pam Johnson appears with the courtesy of Metro Golden Mayor, producers of Little Women, starring June Allison, Peter Lawford, Margaret O'Brien, and Elizabeth Taylor. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>